with the phone, you can edit, put music, make it dramatic. Pray for Kevin Hart. Pray for Kevin Hart. His fan base is turning on him because of Cat. Really? Mm -mm. Kevin Hart can sell out any arena mm -hmm. in, on the planet. 80,000. You think Kevin needs your fucking prayers? Kevin's going to be just fine. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. But with the, okay, you've been in comedy. You've been in doing this for some for a lot of years. And you've seen the way how internet and everything has changed. And people have become more vocal than what they used to be because of the internet. Because they can get it out there to the masses really quick. Is that... I know there's some disadvantages of that, but what are the benefits of that? You know, I always say, and I think I also said it in my post, this internet thing, it's a blessing and a curse. Mm -hmm. Because listen, we all are guilty of scrolling through our phones for entertainment purposes mainly. And listen, I ain't gonna lie, I've scrolled across some things that make me laugh hard as hell by, <laughs> by just some regular Joe. Right. But at the same time, it gives everybody a voice now. Mm -hmm. And everybody don't deserve to be heard. Because most people don't have nothing to say. Most people are trying to be comedians and they stink. Mm -hmm. It's only a small percentage of people that really are true intellectuals, are truly funny, truly gifted. It's like, I look at it like, let me put it in this analogy. Remember, I don't know how old you are. I'm 48. I'm very close I'm, to I'm, you. I'm a, I'm a little older than you. Okay, so yeah, you, you're, you're a young boy. Uh, I, I, I'm going to talk to you about New York because I want to get all into the Well, then you better know this reference. I'm trying to get <laughs> you know this reference. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Go uh, ahead. Studio 54. Remember Studio 54? Yeah, 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 wait a minute. In, in, in the 70s, in, in early 80s, it was the hottest nightclub on the planet. Yeah, yeah. But the line to get in was ridiculous, and everybody couldn't get in. Right. There were certain rules. You had to look a certain way. You were handpicked. Everybody don't deserve to get into Studio 54. A la, everybody don't deserve to be heard, because most of it is nonsense and garbage. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, with the phone thing, and 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 and. Like the saying in Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when you got a bunch of people looking at these messages on, on the phones from people just yammering, people aren't smart enough to know, don't believe that. That's and then really. now we're starting to spread this message of bullshit. Like, for instance, like there were people going, yo, and you know, with the phone, you can edit, put music, make it dramatic. Pray for Kevin Hart. Pray for Kevin Hart. His fan base is turning on him because of Cat. Really? Mm -mm. Kevin Hart can sell out any arena mm -hmm. in, on the planet. 80,000. You think Kevin needs your fucking prayers? Kevin's going to be just fine. Cat didn't shake up the world like y'all <laughs> trying to say. Everybody going to be fine. Steve going to still be a millionaire. Chris Tucker going to still be a millionaire. Ricky they Smiley. all going to work. They all going to still be in movies. They all going to still sell out shows. I'm still going to get my paper. I'm still going to work. Stop the bullshit. That's what I'm saying. This was a waste of time. What did it do? You really think Cat stopping Kevin's bread? Nigga, please. But you have some people like Mike Epps who say, Kevin, I mean, Kat, you should have talked about me. Talk about me in positive, negative, I don't care. Just he's talk just about me. He's, he's being funny. He's just being but, funny. Yeah, he's being funny. And he's going to be all right. <laughs> Mike is one of the most working motherfuckers in the game. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, dude, I, I'm just sitting here going, when people go, he needed to stand on his truth. We needed to hear the truth. If Martin Luther King was still alive, or Malcolm X was still alive, or Mega Evers was still alive, and they had something to say to release truth, that would be beneficial to us. Because look at the source. You talking about a comedian over jokes. You know how silly this is? He say that the reason that the Steve Harvey thing came up, I think I seen an old clip of DC Curry where he talked about Steve uh, allegedly that Steve pretty much seen his kids and him at the mall early on before that Detroit thing happened. Right. And that's what stimulated the, the beef thing between them where he wouldn't take pictures with 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 Cat's kids. So he see him when he's young, you know, he's not right. who he is today. Right. And he felt like, bam, like, dang, man, you know, he didn't do me right, so I got this chip on my shoulder. And, and that's how uh, okay. that started. Uh, okay, but listen, listen, nobody owes you anything. Nobody has to do anything. I'm a Michael Jordan fanatic. I know that. And I'm, I'm, I've always said I'm scared to meet the motherfucker. Because if he ever on me, I'm going to say something I don't mean. <laughs> That's why LeBron is better than you. Uh, oh, that don't mean that. That going to hurt the hell out of you the way you I don't mean that. But, but, uh. but I'm going, that's why they say 
you, you be careful. You don't want to meet your heroes. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of times you may be disappointed. And what's so funny is I've had people tell me, yeah, man, I met this person, this person, dudes that are 10 times bigger than me. And they were like, man, they were such dicks. They mm -hmm. shit on me. They, they didn't acknowledge, made me feel this small. If, if anybody that knows anything about me, I am the most non-Hollywood nigga on the planet. As long as you approach me with respect, dude, I'll chop it up with you, shake your hand, give you a hug, we could talk. I'm the most, you know, approachable dude in the world that's non-Hollywood, as long as you hit me with respect. No, and, and I, I could see that. That's why I told you I had never researched you like I did through when I after me and you after I texted you, it was like, I gotta check him out. Then when I did, I'm like, man, this nigga here, yeah, really. I looked at the Vlad interviews, I like, really, you counseling bad Vlad, <laughs> Vlad over there a lot on <laughs> on, on black culture. Right. I, you know, I'm I'm looking from a different perspective yeah. and I'm like, damn, he the only one I kinda see do his yeah. interview where he ain't just gonna let a nigga make it. He gonna educate you on this <laughs> matter. Yeah, listen, I don't ever claim to be the smartest person in the room, but what I know, I think I know. Uh, so, you know, within the conversation, uh, I, I'm not gonna uh, sidestep or not say what I believe to be true. Yeah. Uh, and if I'm wrong and you educate me, I'm, I'm with that too. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, and, I love seeing, like I said, I, was, I don't even watch watch Vlad like that. And definitely shout out to him because he's been in this game. Like, right. I don't been in two years, but I'm just saying uh, to see how you and you and him handled the, the chemistry, that was probably one of my better. I don't watch him like that. So I'm like, damn. Well, you know, the funny thing that, the, the funny thing is, that always sticks out to me is, you know, I got a lot of black people who be like, man, stay off Vlad platform. I hear him saying He's that. a culture vulture. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, well, first of all, you keep saying to me, man, I hate that nigga. Every time I watch, I hate that nigga. Every time I watch, I hate that nigga. Let's rewind the tape. Every time I watch, I hate the nigga. So if you hate him, why is every time you watch, you're watching? So he knows what to do to keep you engaged. Yeah. That's just called, you know, Smart yeah. business. Yeah. And, and listen, and I also go, I, it ain't like I'm on there for free. He pays me. Correct. He pays me a nice five figures. Yeah. So if my choice is either stay home on a Tuesday and do nothing and earn nothing or go sit down for an hour and a half and walk away with five figures where I could not make anything, what, what am I going to do? No, I agree. I'm gonna make the money and I get to check them. No, I see so, it. So I, I see it. That's a win-win to me. I'm enjoying it. When I see it, I'm like, okay, I see what's going on now. Yeah. Like you and your passion probably gonna get you in trouble all the time because you, when you speak, the tonality and the way you deliver. Let me oh, tell listen, you. man. Hey, my, my, I, mouth, my mouth is, uh, <laughs> it's my greatest asset and my biggest detriment. <laughs> this, this help, this gets me money and loses me money. I see it. I'm telling you when I look, I said, damn, what he say, it be profound. Like it, yeah, it really yeah. it hit different. So when, yeah. when I'm seeing him take these blows, it's like, I hope he don't get upset because he really giving no, it to and, us. And, and, and I know, know that's and, not his thing. He's and, professional. And I, and, I, and I even said to people, uh, I, I finally said one time on the show, I said, guys, I'm reading the comments and y'all always go, well, this last time Vlad gonna have him on. Man, I know Vlad ain't gonna bring him back <laughs> with what he's saying. And I'm going, you guys, Vlad is not that fragile. Number yeah. one, and he's a smart businessman. Mm -hmm. He knows with me and him, the it's back. like Ali and Cosell. Yeah, he knows the chemistry pops, the arguments. It's great TV. It's damn good. It TV. would be stupid for him not to bring me back. Damn good TV. Yeah, I he knows there. what he's doing. I sit there and watch. I'll be like, this is good stuff, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, man, you told me about all that. I see what you said. I'm a show. I'm a showman. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm, I'm on about the, Ali and, 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 yeah. and like you being on the camera and yeah. and, and you challenging him to get on the camera. You like he like I bet, but not like that. It take a chem people don't realize how much chemistry it take to get on camera yeah. and really hold the audience let me, attention. Let me, let me man. tell you something, man. And and, and I said this before like you know uh especially before the pandemic when it was like mandatory for comics to come to town get up early go do radio and i've had so many radio djs tell me dude there's so many comedians we have in here where it's like they great on stage because that's their thing mm -hmm. but when they get in here it's that's the truth it's, and i go listen man Every comic don't know how to translate. Just because you a comic don't mean you can translate your funny from stage to radio. This is a different thing here. It's a really? different medium. But it all is under the umbrella of entertainment. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like the greatest comedians should be able to do it all. Mm. TV, film, radio, stand-up, voiceover. If you funny, you funny. 
that should translate no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, when I do Vlad and I read the comments, that's one of the things people say all the time. They go, yo, y'all's chemistry, man. It's crazy. And you read all your comments? I try to not read all of them, but <laughs> I, I, I do because to me it's like being in sports. I got to look at game tape. Okay. You know I mean, I got I to gotta know what people are saying right. so I can look at the tape and go, okay, next time do this instead do th of that. That's right. Say this and don't say that. That's right. So, And certain points, you know, because with Vlad, how he got his camera set up, you know, if my interview is here and I got a camera that's here, even though I know I'm here, I turn and I play into I that camera. I've seen you do that. I've seen you do it. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 like, and a lot of dudes don't know. That's an entertainer too. That's an entertainer because whenever you're on stage, you got to work the stage because you have people not only in front of you but over here. Because I hate when I sit on the side right. and all you do is pay attention to here. You don't ever look it, this it's way. Working the stage, right? It's, it's it's complete. That's what I'm saying. It's certain jokes and certain things I say. If I turn and look directly in that camera after I say it, that's the punchline. Exactly. That's the joke. Exactly. That's what makes people go. Oh, this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have to know all of that. So it's like, yeah, man, it's it's look at game tape, man. Yeah. See, that's that's lesson one on one. Y'all need to learn this. Hey. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.